We're going to have a look together at this particular question. Now we have to calculate the surface area of this compound figure, which consists out of a cylinder and a hemisphere attached to it. Yeah, and the question it will give to you that while well, the surface area of a sphere, yeah, the surface area of a sphere is four pi r squared. Okay, so that is a piece of information the question will give to you. But now we have to find the total surface area. And how do I structure my calculations? I just put a big Roman 1 here and a big Roman 2 there. So I'll find the surface area of that part, then I'll find the surface area of that part, then I plus them together to find the total surface area. Okay, so let's start with that hemisphere. All right, so I'm going to take a new piece of paper over here and I'll start with writing down a big 1. Well, they say that the surface area of a sphere is 4 pi r squared, okay? So what do I have to do with that to find the surface area of a hemisphere? I have to divide all of that by 2, of course, yeah? Um, is the circle part, yeah, is that base, is that part of my surface? Sometimes it is, but in this case it isn't because I have this cylinder attached to it, okay? So 4 pi r squared divided by 2, the surface area for my hemisphere. Now what is the radius? What is the radius? Can I find the radius of my hemisphere? Well, the radius is the length of this line. All right. Can I see how long it is? Well, it's not there, but here the whole thing is 10 centimeters. So what is my radius? It is indeed five, yeah? because 10 centimeters is my diameter and the radius is half the diameter. Yeah? So also here the radius is going to be five. I hope you see that. So I can go back to my calculations here. So I can say, so for my hemisphere, it is four times pi times five squared, and all of that divided by two. I'm gonna leave this in terms of pi. Yeah, I'm not gonna multiply by pi yet because I am not finished. I don't want to be writing down all those decimals now. This is 25 yeah, times four is 100 divided by two, 50 pi. You see that? Who needs a calculator? Who needs a calculator? This is much more fun. This is the surface area of the hemisphere. Okay? So that's the, let me write that down, the surface area of part one. Okay, now we continue the surface area of part two, and that is a cylinder. And I did, do not give me the formula for that, because I know the formula for a cylinder, and if I quickly revise that. If I have a cylinder here, what is the surface area? Well, it is pi r squared times 2. So 2 times pi r squared plus, and that curved part, and I explained this in more detail in one of my previous videos, that curved part is actually a rectangle, we then said, yeah, which has a length. What is the length? The length we've said, well, that is 2 pi r, because that is the circumference of the circle actually. Yeah, So 2 pi r times the height. So 2 pi r times the height. So again, have a look at one of my previous videos where I take some more time to talk about the formula for the surface area of a cylinder. But I also said that yeah, you have to use those formulas or you have to be able to use them flexibly because two times pi r squared plus two pi r times the height is the general formula. But what really in this case belongs to the surface? So I have a circle here, but what about that other circle? Yeah, so I, I have, if I this is my cylinder, yes, this side belongs to the surface, but on this side, I have a hemisphere attached to it. So it does not belong to the surface. So if I look at this general formula for the surface area of a cylinder, I can take this one away. So now all of a sudden it is pi r squared plus two pi r times the height. Okay, so you see how important it is that you understand these formulas because then really you can play with them the way you should. Okay, now what is the radius? We already found that one is five. So let me say pi times five squared plus two times pi times five times, and now the height. 
Yeah, so I've done pi radius squared plus 2 times pi times the radius times the height. And the height is this length. Yeah, we're talking about the cylinder now. Now, how, yeah, how long is that? Uh, it's difficult. The whole thing is 30, yeah, but that includes the hemisphere. So the height of my cylinder is less than 30. Yeah, I have to take away basically this part of the hemisphere. And how long is that? Well, that is a radius as well. Eh? That is also five long. Okay, and this is a very typical situation that they give you the whole length and you've got to subtract it by a radius. Eh? I've shown you in a different video as well. So what is the height? Well, that is going to be 30. But then I'm going to take away one of uh, the radius there. So it's going to be 25 centimeters. 25. Fantastic. Let me write it down here. 25. So 5 squared pi. 25 pi plus 2 times 25 is 50 times 5. 250 pi. And that equals to 270 five, I should say, pi. <laughs> All right, again, in terms of pi, let's do that in red as well. I have so many colors around me, I get confused. Yeah, in terms of pi, because what is the total surface area? It's these two together, isn't it? Um, so 50 pi and 275 pi. So I'm gonna continue here that S A total equals, we said 50 pi, plus 275 pi, well that equals to 325 pi, and now I will multiply everything by pi. Of course I could, I could have done that earlier, earlier, but you'll be writing so many decimals, it's just a waste of time. Huh? So correct to three significant figures, this is going to be 1,000, one, zero, um, to zero service area, centimeters squared, 1,020. Make sure that you can also round that properly to three significant figures, 1,020 centimeters squared, all right? So I divided my compound figure into two parts, a hemisphere, so four pi r squared for a sphere, so four pi r squared divided by two for a hemisphere. Yeah, then the cylinder, usually it's two times pi r squared, plus two pi r times the height. But in this case, because that circle does not belong to my surface, surface, it's only pi r squared plus two pi r times the height, yeah? I work all of that out, yeah, 50 pi, 275 pi. So the sum of that, the total surface area, 325 pi, which rounds to 1,020 centimeters squared, correct to three significant figures. I hope that was useful, otherwise you leave me a question. Have a nice day.